Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. You have big weekend plans, do you, Candy? Big weekend plans? No. Mmm. TV, little walk around the block. That's yeah, it by for usual, you? I have really no major plans, no. Mm. Well, I'll give you something to do tonight, okay? All right. Uh, there is something called a strawberry moon tonight, Candy. Yes. Big doings. It's going to be colorful and big. Tonight's full moon will follow a low, shallow path across the sky, meaning moonlight will travel through more of the Earth's atmosphere, and it could give it a colorful orange-yellow tint, it's called the Strawberry Moon. It's going to look very close and big, Candy, tonight. It'll be low. I cannot wait. I'll have to run outside and look at the moon. Maybe yes. howl at the moon. I could see that. Uh, yes, I'm ready. There's a lunar eclipse, too, but it won't be visible in the U.S. And this is the sixth full moon of 2020. Uh, there will be seven more before the end of the year. Oh, seven more. Okay. Yeah. But tonight, a special strawberry moon, a colorful moon. So uh, that'll be nice. Um, a little bit of good news. We always like to, uh, you know, send people on their way with some good news, Candy. And Yes. We start with um, the uh, city of Los Angeles, which announced it's taking a quarter of a billion dollars from its budget and reinvesting in communities of color. Well done. Yes. Uh, Apple, Facebook, Verizon donating $10 million each to fight racial injustice. Bank of America pledged a billion dollars over four years, Candy. Incredible. Wow. Wow. $250 million a year uh, for the next four years, Bank of America. Uh, how about this? A black couple in Gainesville, Florida uh, was having a, a meal at Hooters, and their waitress surprised them, paid for their meal, and wrote on the ticket, Black Lives Matter, have a great day. Is that just beautiful? Come on. It is beautiful. You see one little act of kindness can spread? Mm. That's beautiful. All right, you just gave me, like, chills. Right, a little chill. That was like a chill story it's right such there. such a simple little thing, and if we all just, you know, took part. Right. Oh. Yeah, make somebody's day. Um... Several business owners in New York have been speaking out in support of the protesters even after their stores were damaged by looters. Uh, that, that takes a, a, a lot of uh, uh, wherewithal and willpower and, and, you know, understanding of what's going on, Candy. So uh, good for those businesses and hope, uh, hope they're all right in the uh, rebuilding process. And more than 5,000 peaceful protesters came out in Idaho for a candlelight vigil and the vast majority of them were white, which is uh, something that is talked about a lot on the news, how uh, you know, what we're going through in this time in our country, Candy, is so different than other times because of the mix of people that are out in the streets. You understand? I hope one day we will all be colorblind. Yeah, it's uh, it's astounding, and it's amazing. It and You know, every day, and even, I have to say, uh, you know, on the news... Um, less and less, you know, uh, four or five days ago, a lot of violence, a lot of looting. It's gotten less and less each day. There's still violence. There's still things going on. Uh, but it, it's um, it's tapering off a bit and becoming more peaceful. Uh, so uh, there are I good things. Really happening. deep down, most people want peace. Yes. Not all, I, but most. I believe that uh, in my heart. I do believe that. Uh, so uh, today being so humid. Uh, I'll probably pump the air conditioning and watch 13 Reasons Why, Candy. I'm Depends. glad your day is set. Yes. Uh, also, you know, Dana and I have been putting off uh, Costco for quite a bit. We were supposed to go like three weeks ago, and then we pushed it off, pushed it off. We haven't been in, in quite some time. Uh, I, today might be a Costco day. We'll you see. know, I'm considering not redoing my membership because I haven't been there in months. And I haven't missed it. Well, if you don't use it, and look, you're not buying in bulk for a huge no, family. So. I'm not. So I may just pick it up back in the fall around, you know, before the holidays come. All right. Well, listen. Yeah, I'm, I haven't been there in months. 
you know, we like to stock up here, but we're in a different situation over you here. You are, mm-hmm. and I tried uh, maybe two or three weeks ago, and there was a big line. I said, I can't. I'm not doing it. All right, just go to your local supermarket then. And, and I do the BJ's thing. Yeah. Because it's closer to me, and, you know, they have a few things I use on mm-hmm. a regular basis, so that's that. All right, well, listen, no one's uh, blaming you. You do you, girl. If I you need go. Costco, I'll use your card. How's that? that? That's not a problem. Please feel free. I get points. <laughs> I, I, want the po- I, want, I want the points. They again. see you, they're like, oh, Mr. Fathead, come right in. You don't have to wait at all. You're our top customer. Pretty much. They usher me right into the store. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, listen, enjoy your weekend. I'm sure I'll text you at some point, okay? Good. You enjoy your, your hours and hours of TV. Thank you. I will enjoy sleeping in. Yes. And we'll congregate back here Monday, right, my brother, from another mother? I, I please don't ever say that again. I I, I, I cringe hearing you uh, uh, call me your brother from another mother, although I do appreciate the sentiment, Candy, the way it comes out. Uh, uh, well, you, you are know, my brother. We just I don't share blood. I'd rather you just say it this way. Uh, fathead, you are my brother. From another mother. Like, really, really. Fathead, you are my brother from another mother. Mm. Deep down, you're in my heart, (laughs) you're in my soul. You know what? It's been a long week. (laughs) It is time to go. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.